All right, welcome everyone, Eugene Hughes Motorized. Let me show you how I hooked up this 110 volt power supply to power the Vivor diesel heater. Now your Vivor diesel heater, it needs 12 volts, 15 amp power supply, and that's what this little gizmo here is doing here for you. And I'm gonna put a link down below if you're interested in buying one here. And uh, what I did is I hooked it up using a, uh, an extension cord, just cut it. I soldered on the terminals here. They stamped onto this lip on the power supply uh, what each terminal is for. The listing on Amazon showed that it had a sticker, but uh, if you look carefully you can see the, the uh, symbols and letters on it here. Uh, basically you've got L, N, you have the ground symbol, you have V negative, V negative, V positive, and V positive here for it. Okay, so uh, this one is the L, this is the hot wire, this is the N, this is the neutral, you've got the ground that goes there, and then you've got the black wire that goes to the heater, and the red wire that goes to the heater. Very important if you'll notice the power supply has a sticker on it that I'm indicating there. This is a power supply that's suitable for 110 or 220 volt. Mine came set for 220 volts. I had to remove the outer cover, remove the two screws, and there's a switch there and right next to the switch it says 110 or 220. I moved the switch to the 110 volt position. So you want to make sure you get that set right before you power it up. We don't want any sparks, now do we? And uh, you've got the little green LED which indicates that the power supply is on and active. Uh, it's pretty easy to hook up here. Just uh, make sure you get the L and the N and the, the ground there. Get each one uh, set up correctly. The L is the, if you're looking at the outlet here, is the right hand spade goes in there. The N is typically the larger one on an outlet. And then the round one here at the bottom is going to be your ground. So just use a voltmeter uh, continuity checker to make sure that you get everything set up <clears throat> from your cord. You can solder on the terminals to do it or as well you can simply uh, solder a piece of wire onto it and or just tin the end of your wire here so it will go into the uh, little terminal on it. Loosen the screw, slide it in, clamp it down and you're good to go. I would recommend be careful that your wire doesn't uh, isn't in a place where it's going to be hit or moved a lot because that could cause a uh, loose connection on it there. But it works fine on the Vivor heater and if you're interested in the Vivor diesel heater I'll put a link down there for the heater itself and of course I'll put a link down below for the uh, power supply. Thanks for watching.